Welcome to Electron Online. Our next video is about what we call cascaded op-amp circuits. What that means is that we connect the op-amps in such a way that the output of the first op-amp becomes the input of the second op-amp and so forth. So what we have written here is the output of the first op-amp is the input of the second op-amp and so forth, etc. In other words, we can have multiple op-amps connected like that each time the resulting output becomes the input of the next operational amplifier. In this example, we're going to use two non-inverting op-amp connections. Here you can see that the voltage input of the first operational amplifier is on the positive or non-inverting terminal. I shouldn't really say positive terminal because there's a plus sign there. It's called a non-inverting terminal. The output of the first operational amplifier, let's call it V output for one, that becomes the input of the second operational amplifier, again connected to the non-inverting terminal there. So what we can write then is that V O sub 1, the output of the first op amp is going to be equal to the ratio of RF over R1 plus 1 times the input voltage V sub I. If we plug in what those are equal to, this becomes equal to R sub F is the, there we go, 8 kilo ohm resistor divided by R sub 1, which is a 2 kilo ohm resistor plus 1 times V input, which is the 100 millivolts. This becomes equal to the ratio of 8 to 2 is 4. That would be 4 plus 1 times 100 millivolts, which ultimately then becomes 500 millivolts, which is the output of the first op amp over here, which becomes the input of the second op amp. Now we do it one more time. Now we can say that V output of the second operational amplifier is equal to, here we have the ratio of RF2 to R2, RF2 divided by R2 plus 1 times the input, which is V input of the second op amp, which is the result of the first op amp. This is equal to, the ratio here is 10 kilo ohms, divided by 5 kilo ohms plus 1 times the output of the first one, which is 500 millivolts, which is equal to 10 divided by 5 is 2. That becomes 2 plus 1 times 500 millivolts, which of course 3 times 500 millivolts is 1.5 volts. So that's the output of the second op amp, which becomes the output of the entire circuit. Again, a very nice straightforward example of what a cascaded op-amp circuit is. And that's how it's done.